Which brings us here, now, to Jane, in her romance writer's group. And so far, it was pretty much a fantasy. Well, if you fantasize about writer's workshops. Talk to me about this character and what kind of love advice you give to Jane on the show. Well, actually, in the show, I'm playing Amanda. She, of course, has had a hit romance novel, one, yeah. and, which makes her an expert. <laughs> an and now expert, she's teaching yes. class and she's teaching all these a wannabe a romance uh, novelists how to do it because, of course, she knows everything. And it's such a great role for her. It's such a great role. She, and, she, and we're already shooting. She's smashing it. Willow wanted to say yes. But she knew there was something else she needed to say first. Something that could change Philip's mind forever. When did you become a fan of Jane the Virgin? Well, uh, when they offered this to me, I hadn't seen it, but I'd heard it was a really wonderful show. And then, of course, uh, Gina was just so classy on the Golden Globes, and, you know, and they won People's Choice, and I went, woohoo! Yeah. I'm on a hit show! Uh, you are, yeah! <laughs> I am. I'm very, very, very excited. And, and they've asked me to, to do more than one episode, so that's cool. Jane Seymour is amazing. I mean, I've been in love with her for so yeah. long, and the, when I got the deadline that she was going to be on the show, I, like, fell out screaming. And I was in a restaurant, and everybody was like, this is inappropriate, and yeah. I was like, I don't care! <laughs> It's very confusing on the set because they say, okay, we need to shoot Jane over Jane and Jane here, Jane here, Jane here. And I'm going like, who's Jane? Now, we were just talking about how at the end of a chapter, it's really good to say something provocative and then move on.